Okay, so the cigar I chose out of that uh, good good assortment of cigars is the Romeo 505 Nicaraguan in Toro. Had a nice dry, uh, easy draw. Wasn't too firm on uh, on the dry draw. I've cut it. I've toasted it. Now we're going to light it up. Ooh, oh, toward the wrapper a little bit. Oh, it's okay. It's just the cap. So, right off the bat, this is 100 times better than that other Romeo. Nice, easy draw. Nicaraguan tobacco, that means flavor. Generous smoke output. Let's do a retrohale and see what we get. A little modeling on the wrapper there, but flavors are fantastic. We've got some spice on the retrohale, some cayenne. As far as on the palate, heavy leather. All right, so what am I drinking? I uh, went and got some stuff I've never had before. Figure that out. This is Straight to Ale, Brother Joseph's Belgian-style double ale. Comes in at 8% alcohol. Now, um, when you see something like this, it's not a, a true Belgian. It's, it's an Abbey ale, not a Trappist ale, because to be a Trappist ale, it has to be brewed by monks, no matter where they are. All right, so I put this in the man mug, and it filled it nearly all the way up, which is usually doesn't happen. It's a really dark, rich, brownish color. Tons of flavor on that. Wow. So that's going to pair well with this uh, Nicaraguan cigar. Just funny, you know, it, it's just me. I prefer Nicaraguan tobacco. Nicaraguan cigars. leather and something else that I can't figure out right now. Having a hard time distinguishing flavors, but I will tell you this. That's a medium to full bodied cigar. There is leather that's what I'm getting predominantly. There is some pepper spice, but it's not black pepper. It's more of a cayenne. I like this cigar. I would buy it again on a scale of one to five, three and a half to four. If you've had this cigar, let me know. If you've had the other Romeos, tell me what you thought of them because I didn't care for it. But this one, the Nicaraguan 505, it's a winner. Let's give it a solid four. Or smoke output. Kind of got a run on one side. Maybe that'll straighten itself out. I'm not very worried about that. I like it through the retro hill. Gives you that little bit of cayenne spice. As for the beer, Brother Joseph, and I have drank many, many Belgian ales. That's a good example of it. That also gets a, a four out of five. Straight to ale. I'll have to look them up. Got a little run. We're just going to smoke through it and see what happens. Still, leather is what I'm predominantly getting. There's something else there, but I can't figure it out. My palate's not as refined as some people's. I know what I like, and I know what I don't like. This I like. It 
plenty of smoke output. Leather again is what I'm getting. It's a medium finish. It's not too long, not too short. It's just right, to be honest with you. I mean, you can set this down, come back a couple of minutes later, take another puff. But you know, when I do these reviews, I tend to smoke them rather quickly. Even when I don't do reviews, I smoke them rather quickly. Unless I'm reading a book. Super clean on the retrohale. I mean, it's got some spice, but it's nothing that makes you, you know, freak out. All right, so once again, this is a solid four out of five cigar. And uh, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Appreciate it. Have a good day. We might do another one after dinner.